Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to V Rose Beauty. I will be doing makeup tutorials. Um, I just started doing this. I've been wanting to do it for quite some time now, but I got really nervous because a lot of people around me are starting them and you know, I don't want to be mechanical. I want to be myself. I'm a very, 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 very goofy person. Right now I am enrolled in Cassell's Aveda Institute in Austintown, Ohio for aesthetics. I'm doing makeup, skincare, massaging, and waxing. So I'm going into my seventh week and I love it so much. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm recently engaged. I just got engaged on Sunday the 19th, I believe. And it is to my wonderful man, Mr. Christopher Michael Collins. Um, I have been with him for a year. I know it seems like, oh my God, that's so short. No, the moment I met him, I knew he was the one I was going to marry and he is a gentleman and he's so funny and he is the love of my life and I'm spending the rest of my life with him. Hopefully we get a house soon, so, or an apartment, that's what I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, so here's my beautiful ring. Let's see if it could uh, get all up in there, get those so yeah, that's it. So I have this Makeup Forever that is not my right color. It's very dark. It's matte velvet and I think it is number 45 VG19. I don't even know if that's a thing. Well, it's this one. <laughs> and then I combine it with the True Blend from CoverGirl. And it is, I believe, ivory. Natural ivory. Okay, so these are the two that I've been using lately. Alright, so I usually just do a little bit on my head. Sometimes I like to go into a British accent, as I did to my friend Lauren all night. And it's not that very good. But, it's fun. And I did it to a waiter at this restaurant called Sawa. And he, like, believed that I was British. I did it in the stores, too. It was so much fun. Alright, times. Make sure y'all get your neck. I'm just kind of bullshit talking all because... There's nothing left on this because I use it so much. It's my skin color. I think it's NC20. Let's go with that. The only thing I have MAC right now is this, a brush, and some lipsticks. And that is it. Well, no, I have a palette. Because my man candy got me the Mariah Carey palette. And a lipstick for Christmas. So there's that. Alright, we are buffering. Make sure you get that nectar. <laughs> I am using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. <laughs> oh, we all have those days. Like this day. There we go. Okay. All right, we're working here. I go in with the um, Tarte Colored Clay Tinted Brow Gel. Um, I was nervous about this because it didn't feel like anything was in this bottle. But when I used it, it really did make a difference on my brows. So today I'm just struggling, bro. We're in the biz. Oh my. It's fine. Then we're gonna go straight to eyeshadow. Now, I every day use either my beautiful MAC Mariah Carey palette. I don't know, is that the name of it? Is there any other name? I just think it's the Mariah Carey palette. Um, and this is the I'm That Chick You Like palette. And then I go in with my beautiful Kylie Holiday 2016 collection that my boyfriend got me. <gasps> Isn't he just the best? So, I usually go in first with a little bit of the Kylie, and the top one is Sugar Cookie. Oh, that sounds really good right now. I want like five. Okay, so we go in with Sugar Cookie, and I go over the entire lid. I take my Jaglin Hill Champagne Pop Palette, 
I go in with my Harry Potter brush. Look at this. So I'm going to take a champagne bop. I'm going to get into that brow bone. <laughs> Okay, by the way, these makeup brushes, I'll get into them later, are totally from Storybook Cosmetics. Get them. Okay, then I go in with my Mariah Carey palette, and I am using Morphe brushes, and I do not know what number or anything this one is. It came in this little, like, this cute little cute container that I got, this little travel one. I have no idea. All I know is it's a blending brush, and I love it. And I'm going in for the lid. Make sure you tap that brush, girl. I'm going in with the lightest color. It's like a goldish nude. I'm just covering the lid. Make sure it's blended nice and even. And then after that, I go in with that Morphe blending brush. And I use this beautiful color over here. As you can see, I use these 24-7. And this one is chestnut. Go in with chestnut. Make sure you tap that brush. And I go in the corner crease. Blend it. I go all the way to the inside corner crease. So I'm on the outside, work my way in. I hope you guys can see what I am doing. So just hollowing it out a little bit, giving a little bit of depth. Um, and like I said, this is my everyday type of makeup. Um, I don't like to do much too crazy because first of all, I'm tired in the morning. Second of all, I'm not trying to impress nobody but myself and my fiance. So. This is how I like to do it, and I do this every day. And if you got a problem with it, I'm gonna need you to bag up. Okay, so then after that, I do take this little, the darker shade of the Mariah palette, and it's more of a darker nude, kind of going to do like a brownish, and I just go over what we just did. I go in a little darker with I believe this one is whoa did I do that wrong if I'm wrong I'm sorry Kylie I'm just maybe I'm just a little bit stupid okay and go in a little bit darker in that corner or the outside corner crease and blend that up just a smidge because not going too crazy but enough to give it that depth same on the other eye Then I go in with this cute little shimmery gingerbread. Yes. I just witnessed Jacqueline Hill use this new technique. That is so smart and I wish that I wouldn't have been so stupid in my life to like not figure it out. But listen. <sighs> she takes her baking powder and her brush. I don't have one that's good enough to like cake it on the side. I probably could use, maybe I could use this one. Oh, let me use my market one. I'm so sorry. As you can see, I do not have a really great powder. I'm using the Morphe banana powder, but it's like weird on my skin. All right, so then after that, I like to do my liner. And I use the NYX Liquid Black Liner. This is nice. And I stole this off of one of my friends, which is the e.l.f. liner also. I used this last night when I went out with my fiance. And I used it over top of my actual black liner. And listen, it didn't come off. Like, my liner was still fleeked when I woke up this morning. Like, I am not kidding. It was beautiful. If you mind, I start and I just do lines going where I want them to go. Hopefully, they are the same. Some days you have the ones that's like this. Whatever. Then I come in and draw a line in, keeping my eye open the entire time until halfway, and then I color it in. So then I use, I usually use my one of my fingers, I pull up just a hair. I don't do it too much because it can create a different line for me and it gets like weird, I don't like it. 
I usually just pull up just a hair just to get a good grip of it. Go as close as I possibly can to the tip of the liner and then I draw a line straight down. I use the Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt from L'Oreal. Sorry, couldn't figure it out. And I have no technique. Just go in for the kill on that one. I like to conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. So I am using the new Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Streaming Concealer. And I also like to use the same thing I use for my brows, which is the I have two contour palettes, Anastasia and my MAC and my MAC. Look at this. Pan, pan, pan is my favorite one. I'm using Sculpt AA5 and I mix it with Trace Gold A75. But, and I just use this angle brush. I get it on both sides. Definitely tap it. I'm going lighter first. Yeah, I'm going school here, so I don't want to go too crazy. Just to give my roundness a little, little not so all right then we go for blush i got this little mini tart blush for my birthday from Sephora, and it is my new favorite so i'm gonna go in there on that nice little cheekbone that i don't own And then, of course, girl, we got a highlight. Like, we need that highlight. Hermione's wand. That I own. And I use my champagne pop and tap that brush. Oh. Woo, 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 woo. This is my, let's all take a moment and thank Christopher Michael Collins for blessing me with this beautiful MAC Mariah Carey lipstick. It is called McIzzle or something and it's the Mariah Carey. Oh. Sometimes I'll go in with my NARS and I'll kind of blend it out together. This is the done look of my day to day. Tori goes to school and slash Tori goes to teach dance. It may not be perfect. Like I said, I am not professional. I'm just doing this for myself. Let people know to subscribe and please tell them to watch my videos. I'm trying to get to the point where I can meet Jacqueline Hill. That is my goal. I will leave my Instagram name and Snapchat name below. So if you would like to add me, go for it. I like being a goof on Snapchat. So you can see those crazy filters on my face. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and watch again. Bye. I will leave my Instagram and Snapchat name. I will leave my Instagram and Snapchat name. Oh my god, I can't stop. I will. <laughs>